So today, we're going to start on the cabinet above the uh, kitchenette. And uh, I've already got some measurements laid out on the wall where uh, it's going to hang. And, uh, and I'll give you a shot of how I want to do it. And thinking ahead, what I also want to, want to make sure that I uh, have enough room for. So stay tuned and uh, we'll start cutting some wood and get this thing up here and closed off and make a couple of cabinets and uh, make it look nice. All right, hang on. So one of the things I want to do is I want to make sure that the distance from the, from the end of the cabinet to the end of this cabinet is the same as it is on this side. And that way, um, when the cabinets are hung up, I'll be able to put a, a curtain across here that'll hang down and close off uh, the sleeping area back here. And the only thing I'll have is a little area over here that uh, I'll have to close, maybe put another little curtain underneath the cabinet. But other than that, uh, that's the plan. So we're gonna make the cabinet on this side equal distance from the back cabinet as it is on this side. And uh, we'll see how that turns out. So let's get cutting some wood, get this thing up here, and uh, cut our holes like we did on the back cabinet. And we'll have a place to store some, uh, some paper plates or something. All right, stay tuned. It won't be too long. So what we're gonna do first is uh, we're going to glue a couple of sticks on our marks. We'll go ahead and staple those in place on each end and then we'll come back and uh, we'll screw those to the wall. But uh, the staples get it lined up and put it where I want it to be. So my two sticks are going to go here first and then we'll run a stick across here and then we'll start coming out and down like this. And, uh, and then we'll worry about getting a crust in the face before we put the plywood on. So let's do it. Also have a couple of sticks coming out this way, and then we'll have it going across the top like that, and one down here like this. That'll tie it together here, and then we'll worry about the front and the top. All right. So next, make sure I got the right clearance. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Marvelous. Cool. Stay tuned. Okay, so we have our stick cut, and uh, what we'll do is we'll put some glue on there, put it in place, make sure we've got the right distance from the bottom, and tack it in place, and then we can start putting the screws on. So let's get a little glue on there. enough to keep it in place so uh, when this thing's bouncing around it doesn't uh, shift or move or fall down. All right and then we uh, will put it in place here. Nice tight fit. Get it down where it should be. Okay now that's where that's where we want it to make sure that it's flush all the way across. We'll take our stick here Put that on the bottom, make sure that's nice and flush there, which sure is. And we'll do the same to this side. Oh yeah. Here we go. And we'll tack it in place. Yeah, just a checker. 
anywhere. And on there. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So that gives me the outline. And once the uh, once the sticks are out here like this, now I'll have a place to put my plywood on the bottom and a place to put the plywood on the side. So that's coming along pretty good. Now we'll take a few more measures, measurements and make sure I get the, uh, the right distance from the wall. And once the plywood's on both sides, that my box is going to measure uh, 12 inch by 12 inch. Uh, and I think that's going to look pretty good. Yep, it's coming along. Okay, hang in there. stick across the top here the same length as this one we'll position it just like how we have it here and then we'll be able to hang our sticks down and uh, have places to fasten to all right moving along and we're going to put a piece across the top here and that's going to be behind the face so when it comes down like this we'll be able to put our plywood around here it'll be direct distance from the ceiling we'll be able to route out for our uh, cabinet holes so we'll go ahead and get that temporarily attached and then throw some screws in it I went ahead and threw screws in the other ones uh, because I don't want to have to go back once I get too far and have to try to fit in some of the tight spaces so let's get this one set up few holes get that sucked up to the ceiling and, uh, and then we'll start working on the uh, face piece it's gonna come along nice cool hang in there so as we uh, begin the face of this what I'm gonna do is uh, attach this here and we're gonna use a uh, countersink and we're just gonna go right into the uh, face of that put two screws and countersink that into our board across here. We'll do that on both sides and then we'll uh, put our face on the top and then we'll cut our boards for the bottom and we'll attach those to the piece hanging down and then we can cut our face for that section and then we can get a middle piece in here and that pretty much would uh, complete the box and then all that's left is uh, put the plywood on it and route it out. So. It's coming along pretty quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that up there. I'll drill the holes, put some glue on the top, and put some glue on the face here, and we'll get that attached on both sides, and then we'll start working on the, uh, the front section and get that bottom pieces in there. So I think that's gonna come along pretty good. Okay, moving on. So now what we'll do is we'll take, uh, take our stick that we cut, and we'll hold it up here and we'll go ahead and drill a couple of holes here at the bottom we'll get that glued and fastened in place and then we'll start working on the front and get it done and uh, then we uh, just about have our box in place Here, 
and I'll probably clamp those in place and then, uh, and then we'll get our front brace across here and across the top and one down the middle we'll be good to go so we have our board here in place we got the bottom in place and we got it clamped right here just to keep it flush with the front and square on the sides and then we'll go ahead and tap in a couple of holes here solid against the wall and the ceiling and it looks pretty square so we have one more side to do and uh, then we'll work on the face okay so we got our pieces cut and my first piece is going to fit in here just like this nice nice fit and uh, make sure it's flush on the ends and we'll go ahead and glue that and then we'll run some staples in here and uh, that'll secure it to the a piece of wood here and it'll be glued on the on the rooftop and uh, and I'm not going to put any uh, screws in it because the face of the plywood will cover that and uh, the glue will give it some strength so it'll be tied into the sides and uh, be just nice and then the bottom piece of course will fit in here like this and then we'll have our stick going down through the center and then we'll be able to route out for our cabinet holes and so it's coming along it's looking like a cabinet finally all right well let's get that glued and stapled in place we'll get the bottom on and then we'll worry about the center piece and then all that's left is the plywood and then the messy part the routering Blech. and then we clean up all right stay tuned so I have everything just about in place. I started with the back piece and then uh, put them on both ends. And then I put my bottom piece going across, make sure that it's flush with the piece that was gonna come out this way. Then I went ahead and installed the top and uh, stapled everything and followed up with some screws. And then I put these pieces on out here and did the same on the other side and then i got the piece coming down and i screwed those in and got a little bit of glue up there and then i did the cross piece here uh, which is fastened to the back section and that'll hold it up to the the ceiling and give me a place to put my face on and uh, that's glued and stapled in place i'm not going to put any screws in it and then I got the bottom piece fastened on. So basically butted that up against the edge here and drilled a couple of screws here and went in like this. Now the bad part is when you do go in the side on the end grain, um, you have to go kind of slow because it tends to want to split, split out. You either split this wood out or you're going to split this wood out, which uh, happened to me on the other end which is not a big deal. Um, I ran the screw in pretty far and it uh, split it right here at the end because I didn't, I didn't have it pre-drilled all the way through. I used a short drill bit and I should have used my long one. So um, split that out. I took, took the screw back out, re-drilled, put it back in, uh, punched some glue down into the crack and got it clamped in place and that'll be good as new once the glue dries then i went ahead and marked my center lines top and bottom so i can put my stick here that's going to go right like that and that will divide the cabinets into two parts like so so it'll look like look like these when uh, when it's all done then it's just about ready to put the uh, the plywood facing on so the way I'm going to attach this is I'm going to go ahead and put some pocket screw holes and I'm going to 
go up from behind on the top and on the bottom I'm gonna go ahead and just drill up straight through and that way it'll hold it nice and tight uh, but the top I'll have some pocket hole screws and it'll fasten to this top section here and uh, that section and that part will be done so it's coming along it looks kind of odd right now just sticks hanging all over the place but once you get the plywood on and routed it out then uh, then it tends to clean up and begins to uh, actually look like something kind of like how we did on uh, this section down here and also on the face of our kitchenette so hang in there we're almost done okay so we got the bottom trimmed and we've got it kind of set in place right now and uh, what I did is I on the inside I went ahead and marked on the inside so when I take it off I know where to spread my glue so we've got a setting flush on the ends here and uh, looking pretty good on the front here what we'll do is we'll pull that out just a little bit because the front is kind of sagging in and that'll pull it out straight be nice and flush on the face and then we'll put the sides on on both ends and then we can put the face on and then route her out for our cabinet holes so we'll go ahead and drop this piece this bottom piece we'll spread our glue put it up there and get it stapled in place and that will complete the bottom part it'll be nice and strong all right hang in there so we have the bottom piece on it's uh, glued and stapled on nice and solid then we got one of our side pieces cut and I went ahead and marked around the perimeter once I put it up here where I can spread my glue because I don't want glue everywhere so we'll spread that and we'll staple that on we'll do the other side and then we're ready for the face cool so let's go ahead and spread just a little bit of glue on here right We'll go ahead and staple that in place. Boom. Yeah. We have a little bit of glue right there. Nice. Okay. We'll get the other side cut get it installed and then we'll work on the face it's coming along okay now we have our two sides on we got a bottom on now we're ready to put the face on so everything is nice and smooth around here nice and flush and uh, I've got my piece of wood cut and that's going to sit right up in here and flush on both ends and the bottom is just rough cut it's overhung about sixteenth of an inch so we'll router that once we uh, cut our holes out, then that'll be our finish up. But uh, that's it. So we'll go ahead and spread our glue, staple that in place, punch a couple of holes, router that out, and be done with it. Okay, moving on. Let's go ahead and get some glue around this thing. And I've got a nice wide area that uh, I can be liberal with the glue a little bit. Just like a so. And let's put a staple here. One here. And then we've got a mark here on the ceiling where my center post is and one here on the bottom so we can just go right up just like so boom it's on there the ends are nice and flush the bottom's got a little overhang that we'll take and router that off oh yeah and probably uh, when I'm all said and done, I have everything painted and ready to do the trim work. I'll probably put some uh, some coving around the top, and we'll have some nice wood trim 
around the edges of all of our cabinets and wardrobes and whatnot. Kind of set it off. So, it looks good. All right, next step is punch a couple holes and uh, router these out. And then I'll give you a shot of that. When it's all done, then the uh, major job is the clean up and putting away your tools. Let's go. Okay, here it is. The cabinet above the kitchenette is finished as far as the construction goes. And I think it turned out well. I'm pleased with it. Yep. And believe it or not, I wish I could uh, hold up a tape measure and videotape at the same time. But the distance from here to here is 35 and 5 eighths. And on this side, the distance from here to here is 35 and 5 eighths. Man. I couldn't, I couldn't do that again if I wanted to, which means that across the top, I will be able to put a, uh, put a slide and I could have a curtain hanging down that will kind of give you a little bit of uh, privacy in the back, a little privacy curtain, if you will. And uh, I think that's going to look pretty cool. So anyway, and then uh, I don't know if you can see it too well. All the uh, all the little staple holes that I managed to uh, pound in on all this plywood um, is easily covered by a product that I picked up at a local store. It's called Fast and Final. It's like it's very lightweight, but it's like a putty, and it doesn't shrink or anything like that. And you just take a little bit dab it in there, take a, a straight edge and just smooth it off and it seals it up just right. You can't see it on here, but I did the same thing on, on the walls. It doesn't take that long to fill it in and, uh, and then the paint goes right over top of it and you would never know that you'd uh, had a dent in the wood at all. So anyway, <sighs> that looks pretty good. So. Uh, the inside is coming together really well. Let's see if I can't get a shot from the outside looking in. So looking through the uh, the front window, uh, looking into the camper, you can get an idea of the of the layout and the space. And uh, the wardrobe and the space behind that. I think it's going to look pretty good when it's finished. So after everything gets painted, really sealed and painted, then I'll start working on the cabinet doors, which I haven't decided on the material that I want to use yet, but uh, it'll most likely be a solid piece of wood. And uh, I'll cut them and they'll be evenly spaced around the, the bottom and around the top. And uh, probably about a quarter of an inch gap in between each cabinet doors. And I'll probably have those swing up just like this um, with self-closing hinges. So uh, when it's closed, they won't have a tendency to sit there and bounce back and forth. I used that in my little teardrop trailer that I built, and they worked out uh, excellent. So anyway, I'll make some cabinet doors. Probably have a little trim around here. Or if it's a, not a plywood, but a solid piece of wood, then I might actually put some... Uh, trim here. haven't decided yet. It'll look pretty nice when it's done, I'm sure. And uh, but it, anyway, that's going to be that's going to be pretty cool once they get all the uh, cabinet doors installed and some nice little handles on them and all the hinges. Uh, but that's the finished work, and that's still probably a little ways away. I still we still have one more one more cabinet to build up front. And then once that's complete, I think what I'll do is uh, go through and paint the whole thing and uh, get done with that. And then we'll finish our countertop uh, so that's out of the way. But it's coming along. Anyway, I hope it, uh, you find this helpful and uh, gives you a little incentive to get out in the garage, clear a spot, and uh, 
start building something and uh, you don't have to you don't have to be a major woodworker or anything like that you just get an idea and uh, go with it and you might be <laughs> might be surprised you could amaze yourself with things that you can do so anyway hope this is helpful if you've got any questions uh, add them in the comments down below and don't forget to, to like the channel and subscribe to it there's tons more stuff uh, to come and before you know it we're going to be camping so stay tuned